3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, I counted until 7 in Swedish. That means I'm going to show you 7 days in my life as an international student in Sweden. I'm Narina from Studying in Sweden and let's go! Waking up early in the morning has always been a challenge for me, as I'm not a morning person. That doesn't mean I don't wake up early, that only means that I feel more productive in the evening. It's time to stretch and what I'm going to do is yoga, of course. I became very much interested in yoga after moving to Sweden. One of the reasons which I remember which helps me get up from the bed and which makes me excited in the morning is doing yoga. You might be wondering when I have my breakfast. Well, I combine it with my lunch and I have it around 12, which becomes a brunch apparently. The second weakness of linear probability model that we will always have a hit for stochastic error term. We have called today a Stata Day because it is going to be all about statistics, data and regression. Now I'm having a class in statistics where we learn regression. Currently I'm taking two half-time courses, modern sociological theory and the quantitative methods in social sciences. Today I'm gonna show you my university's library. And I'm gonna show you the study area. But we need to be quiet. I need to write the final paper for my course, uh, Modern Sociological Theory, and I came to the library to borrow a book. I'm going to write my final assignment in statistics now. Once a year in Sweden there is a day called Fettistagen in February. Fat Tuesday in English, which means you can eat a lot of creamy buns called semlas. It is not February now, but there are semlas, so why not? I'm gonna have semlas with fika today. Fika is a traditional Swedish coffee or tea break with some sweets. I have a Swedish class in the evening, so my assignment was to watch a Swedish movie and then prepare a presentation for that. So I've chosen a movie called The Wife, so I'm going to watch it now. Did you know that Swedish and Norwegian are almost the same languages? There are huge similarities between Swedish and English, like milk, mjölk, book, book. I watched the movie and I really liked it, so I'm going to create presentation slides for that. Här för det är gott. Det finns en andra person som är lite... Liam får köra en andra, tack. Idag ska jag prata om film. Filmen handlar om ett par. Wednesday in Sweden is sometimes called the Lördag, which means Little Saturday, when you can have a small weekend in the middle of week. So for the Little Lördag purposes, we are going to make famous and my favorite Swedish chocolate balls. It is quite simple. We need to mix oats, sugar, cocoa, butter, vanilla extract and if you want a little coffee as well. Then we make small balls from it. Yeah, precisely. Now it is time to practice Swedish with other international students in a language club which is provided by the university. Usually we meet once a week and talk about anything which is guided by a coordinator. Today is a nature day for me. I'm going to the forest. We do not have forest in the city actually. We have a city in a forest. We have a lot of green areas to meditate, to go for a walk, to have a barbecue or picnic. Now it is time to read some articles for tomorrow's seminar. There the conference is 
sociology called Cultural Space. And at Stockholm University we also have a working group in Cultural Sociology. Today I have a class in Modern Sociological Theory and today's topic is Culture. I'm happy because finally the week is over and I'm going to enjoy my well-deserved Fredaxmus with some sweets and Netflix of course. Today I'm going to the city to meet my friends. Public transportation is very convenient in Sweden and it works even during the pandemic. Wearing face masks is recommended, but there is no strict regulation. Cafes and restaurants are open, but of course we keep distance and meet only few friends to make sure we are not too crowded. I feel so happy when I'm around my friends. We are having some sweets because it is Lerdags goodies, which literally means Saturday candy. People in Sweden eat a lot of sweets on Saturday. Jag ska städa mitt rum nu. That means I'm going to clean my room now. And for my tasty brunches and dinners for the next week, I'm going to do grocery shopping. Have you seen Tina's video about grocery shopping with more detailed information yet? Yeah, I told you it is a clean day today that involves everything that has to do with cleaning and washing. I'm doing the laundry in a very mysterious laundry room. This is what my typical week is like. You watch the video from Study in Sweden YouTube channel and check out more videos from the channel to learn more about living and studying in Sweden. We will upload more videos so make sure to turn on the bell button to be notified about a new video. Hey do! 